Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. We're ready to assemble and install our accessory plate. The accessory plate on the Aero-V engine does a number of things. It acts as the motor mount to mount the engine on the airframe. It also carries both the primary and the secondary ignition systems. It acts as the mount for the stator for the alternator, and it also acts as the mounting location for the starter. So a lot of jobs get done by the accessory plate. Our first step is to install the primary ignition magnetrons on the accessory plate. Uh, I've assembled them on this accessory plate already. You can see them mounted here in the top and bottom uh, areas. On the uh, magnetrons, there is a slot for each of the uh, mounting screws. When you mount them initially, I would recommend mounting them slid as far outboard as possible, away from the center of the accessory plate. That should give you plenty of clearance when you mount the accessory plate on the engine so that the magnetrons are not hitting the magnet on the flywheel. Later, uh, in a separate step, we will adjust these for proper clearance between these magnet shoes and the uh, flywheel magnet. You'll notice that each magnetron has two spark plug wires coming out of it. One is a little bit longer than the other. The shorter one goes directly out and the longer one loops over the top of the magnetron and goes to the opposite side. So you can kind of pre-align those as you mount the uh, uh, magnetron on the accessory plate and later on they'll get properly routed to the spark plugs. The accessory plate is mounted to the engine using four large fasteners, uh, bolts if you will. You'll notice that three of them are the same length and the fourth one is a little bit longer. Three of these fasteners thread right into the engine case, into threaded openings in the engine case, and the fourth one actually passes through and gets a, a hex nut on the end of it, so uh, that's why the one is a little bit longer. It has to pass through the uh, uh, accessory plate and the rear of the engine case and then get the uh, bolt or the nut on it. On the engine, as we look over here where our flywheel is, uh, you'll see this is the flywheel magnet that I was talking about. This is the magnet that fires the primary ignition magnetrons. On the opposite side of the magnet, there's just a counterweight to balance the flywheel so that when this is spinning with the engine, it balances out. But this is the magnet that actually fires the ignition for the primary ignition. And this is where we'll measure the clearance between this magnet shoe and the magnet shoes on the magnetrons to get proper clearance after we've installed the accessory plate. So we're ready to go ahead and put the accessory plate on there now. We simply pick it up, position it uh, with the Aero V symbol up. That's the top of the uh, accessory plate. And we line it up on the engine case, sight through our bolt holes and get it aligned and then we'll thread in our hardware. The two on the bottom and the upper right hand one are the ones that thread directly into the engine case and the upper left hand uh, fastener is the one that gets the uh, hex nut on it. We have our three Fasteners threaded into the engine case. Now we're ready to install the fourth one with the hex nut. Now we have our four fasteners installed and our accessory plate is bolted to our engine. Well, last step we can do right here in this area is to install the trigger shaft for the secondary ignition. 
A little magnet on this trigger shaft is what fires the secondary electronic ignition. This needs to be installed properly. You'll notice on the trigger shaft there's a small hole that is a witness hole uh, to align the trigger shaft properly. Uh, over and above the four mounting holes you have the uh, small uh, hole there. It has a T stamped in the trigger shaft next to it. So you'll align this small hole with the T with a similar hole with a T in the flywheel itself. When you put it on, you just align those two holes and the trigger shaft is properly mounted. It is mounted with four small countersunk machine screws. They are also hex head or Allen drive, if you will. Those are installed with some blue medium strength Loctite. Put those in, tighten them up, and your trigger shaft is installed.